Good afternoon. It was a trying couple of hours getting ready to do this video. I have such stupid hair from the layers that were put in it that I almost I almost gave up. All right, let's just get going. This is the best I could do. I really did. I worked on my hair, and this is the best I can do. It's a ponytail. I'm going to use this uh, primer. It's Blur, Blur Pang, and it's peach. Oh, dear. Feels like I got too much. Get on with this. I'm going to... Mm, it smells good. It smells like peach. This is a uh, primer that Heather sent me. I'm going to use the Too Faced Worn This Way. My color is Warm Nude. I'm going to use my favorite foundation brush, the Delium brush. It is number 948. I moved my uh, room around a little bit. Guess it would be nice to not have a doorknob right there in my... There, now we don't. Okay, um, I was thinking about what I would like, what kind of look I would like to do while I was out today. I went to Ulta to get a, um, some new shampoo. I got the AG Smooth. It smells good. Maybe that's why my hair looks so stupid. I think the, I have this big chunky layers right here on top. They're so stupid. I'm gonna use the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono. Eh, that's not it, this is it. Perfect Mono Eye Color and Nude. The reason I'm using it is I've had enough, enough things go wrong today. So I'm going to use a tried and true. And this definitely is. There we go. It is Friday. Um, it's finally quit raining here. It's been raining for two days. Not that that really matters, but Taco finally got to go out. He won't go out if it's raining. All right, I'm going to... Uh, Take the Inglot palette. This is a Clinique eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put down a pink on my lid. Y'all have seen me use this before in my last Inglot look. Somebody said I was trying to light the uh, heat, naked heat palette because everybody else likes it. No, I was trying to like it because I spent 52 bucks on it. And I'm not returning it because that always makes me feel guilty. I'm just gonna make it work. I'm a big girl. All right, I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna go into the naked heat palette and I'm going to use the color Yes, Lombre. I'm going to use that on the outside corner here.
Then I'm going. Then I'm going to make up something. I'm going to use this color right here. It's a taupe. So we're still watching the uh, Fast and Furious movie series. Uh, the one we watched last night took place in London. They're getting a little more far-fetched now. We're enjoying them less, I would say. Back into the pink on the front, and then the lombre in, this, in the crease like this. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Multitasker Brow thingamajobber. My hair, my uh, skin's a little little peely too. I've been using my uh, Rejuve cream. It's the one that has the hydro... It's the one that they compound at the Dr. Williams office. And it has hydroquinone and vitamin A in it. Or retin-A. It's vitamin A. And uh, my face is peeling. All right, now I'm going to take the spoolie from the other end and I'm going to comb that out. I'm going to leave the front light. Let's put a nice, crisp, clean white. This is the white from the Inglot palette. I'm going to put that underneath my brow. I'm going to go back and blend that later. I'm going to get my Night Moth pencil. This one is Night Moth. Uh, I, I may prefer the Night Moth pencil uh, just a little bit more than the Plumera. I'm taking it all the way around. I'm not taking it on the inside corner though. Taking it on the water line. One time I put this on the water line and then took a shower and there was some of this floating around in my eyeball and I thought, oh my gosh, my eye is bleeding. Because I had a night moth color sleepy floating around in my eye and I thought well that's it now I'm going blind and then I rem remembered that it's that it was just this liner pencil yeah I really like Night Moth as an eyeliner I'm putting it on the top of the lash line, not carrying it all the way to the inside, bringing it around the outside for sure. 
I'm not going to do a wing. With this big fat chunky layer in the top of my head, I'm not doing, I'm not going to do anything aggravating. I'm not going to do a wing liner and I'm not going to put on lashes. I know my limits. All right, there is the Night Moth. White from the Inglot palette is really bright, isn't it? I'm gonna drag it down some. And then go back with the Clinique. Let's find a mascara. I'm going to use the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous in the Cobalt. I'm putting the uh, Cobalt Mascara on the top and the bottom. I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind like I always do. I'm going to highlight between my eyes, on the end of my nose, on the cupid's bow. Take a damp beauty blender, and it's truly damp, I'm not lying. I have the forethought to go do that before I started the tutorial. Oh no. I don't look like this for lack of planning. I look like this for trusting a hairstylist with my hair. <sighs> I am going to take just a little bit of the this it's kind of lavender, a lavender tote that I put up here. And I take that underneath. Drag it down some. I'm going to um, contour the end of my nose. This is a con concealer collection. It's from Measurable Difference. Heather sent it to me. Um, I switch things up so y'all can see different stuff, you know. It's not, you know, a matter of me trying to sell you something or talk you into it. Just showing you new stuff, that's all. Just so we don't look at the same stuff over and over again. All right. Let's do a different bronzer and blush. I'm going to use the Tom Ford. 
I'm going to use, this one is called Savage. I'm going to use it as a bronzer. It is a blush. I'm going to use it as a bronzer. Get it up in that hairline real good. Take it across my nose to make my face look sunny. Ugh, there's a, a long hair. There it is. Found it. Then I'm going to take uh, the Ravish. and get the apples I think I got a little dirty right here if you get crazy with your blush you can go back with your alright let's do a Highlight. I haven't used my Casey Holmes in a while. Let's let's pull that out. The collab she did with Smashbox. I'm gonna use the pink from that. I'm gonna use my blush brush. I'm gonna use this last one over here. I'm gonna take the white one put it on the end of my nose put it on the tear duct uh, so I had somebody ask me what the point of putting highlight on your tear duct was it makes your eyes sparkle for one thing um Makes you look bright eyed and bushy tailed. Makes your eyes look wide open. Also, it gives you another place to use your favorite highlight. And if you were uh, discussing how to change the shapes of your face and the position of your eyes, it would make your eyes appear further apart, which in the modeling world is more appealing. Okay. Lips. Oh yeah, I was gonna use this too. That pink on my eye, that pink is really pretty. Let's go back and make make sure it looks pink. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. This is from the Wonder Woman collection. It is a pigment. It's a sparkle pigment. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put it on my lips. We're going to need a little more than that. There we go. Um, before we go any further so I don't get powder on my lip gloss, I'm going to go ahead and powder. And I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Renutrif powder.
what is the point of this? Um, the point of this is it gives you a flawless look. A lot of you, you know, a lot of people want to look natural. You want to look, want your skin to look like skin. I do not want my skin to look like skin. I want mine to look like plastic or a mannequin. So there you go. Now, I'm going to take, there's a lip, up oh, there it is, and I'm going to put that on over the gold. Mmm, it's yummy. Who doesn't like a buxom lip gloss, right? Uh, we need another coat of cobalt mascara now. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you try any of the little techniques I showed you. Do you like blue eyelashes? Do you like gold, lit, gold glitter on your lids? Do you like glitter on your lips? Do you like the way bucks of lip gloss feels? Y'all have a great weekend.